More jobs and a boost for the economy are coming to Moses Lake. Two new electric battery material making companies are building plants there. They've been granted $100 million each to jumpstart those facilities. The move stems from President Biden's promise to expand domestic manufacturing of electric vehicles. Our Vanessa Perez was in Moses Lake today with more on how this will impact the community. This facility is empty now, but it'll be the new site of one California-based company, Sela Technologies. This is a huge win for people here in Moses Lake, and it's set to bring hundreds of jobs to the area. A facility big enough to produce material for 200,000 electric vehicles. Yeah, everybody's very excited about it. Uh, you know, in the long run, once those companies get up and running um, at, at full capacity, we'll have a considerable amount of new jobs. We don't know exactly how much the jobs will pay, but Martina says they'll be high paying, more than traditional agricultural work. The two companies are receiving funding from the bipartisan infrastructure bill. The other company, Group 14 Technologies, is based out of Woodenville, Washington. Both companies are making cutting edge battery technology for electric vehicles. The purpose is to source material in the United States instead of China and make electric vehicles more affordable. This isn't the first time major companies have laid down roots in Moses Lake. Moses Lake is a great location to land your business, your manufacturing company, because we do have available land and water um, at a reasonable price. And then our, the biggest attraction is our inexpensive green power. An expansion to Washington's role as a manufacturing powerhouse as this small town waits on facilities to get up and running. Senator Cantwell, who played a role in securing this funding, says this move will make Moses Lake become the epicenter of clean energy manufacturing. Reporting in Moses Lake tonight, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.